When you're president of the United States, you're no ordinary patient. Helicoptered to hospital and given every treatment available. But if the president's doing so well, why is he receiving a drug used on the most serious cases? Professor Pete Horby uncovered the power of dexamethasone in helping ventilated patients to survive. It's now being given to the president in the very early stages. Good evening. I think for me, the question is when he started the dexamethasone. Um, if they've just started it uh, today, then that would suggest that his condition hasn't improved as much as we've been led to believe. But if they'd started it um, very early on, say on Friday, when he was first on oxygen, um, then it's quite you know, plausible that he's now improving considerably. Comparisons are being drawn with Boris Johnson's condition earlier this year. The Prime Minister initially upbeat in isolation. And on the advice of the Chief Medical Officer, I've taken a test that has come out positive. So I am working from home. I'm self-isolating. But six days later, he deteriorated visibly. Three days after that, he was admitted to hospital, then intensive care. Boris Johnson since described his situation as touch and go and said medics saved his life. As your leader, what I have to go through. Parallels are being drawn with the president, who appeared positive, but not himself, in his hospital video. He looked tired. He looked worn. But remember, when you get COVID-19, it's like a very, very bad case of influenza. You feel like you've been wiped out. Fatigue is a big issue, muscle aches and pains, um, uh, loss of taste and smell, fever, low grade, high grade. So he's undergoing all of that right now. So he, he is to be excused for how he looks. I'm just surprised that he actually spoke from his hospital bed. The president's diagnosis will naturally receive a higher level of attention from doctors than the average American. But many of the treatments are still experimental and there's a margin for error. In medical circles, the treatment of a high-profile patient is known as VIP syndrome, where there can be a tendency to give more medical care than usual. But with COVID-19, many of the therapies remain unproven, and there's a danger the president's intense treatment plan could have adverse effects. The president's inability to walk unaided on occasion is just one of many instances that have led to speculation over Donald Trump's health. But as he leads the country into a presidential election from hospital, it's thrust America into a state of uncertainty few could have imagined.